ever warm welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the senior taste of whiskey.com and today we taste the Chivas Regal, 18 years old, 40% ABV, priced in the lower 60s at whiskey.com. Yeah, Chivas Regal had been the most second most sold blended whiskey from Scotland all over the world. Well, that's a few decades ago. It was very, very, or is still very, very famous. And the 12 year old is, well, one flagship of the Scottish whiskey industry with a silvery, shiny label. But there is better stuff from Chivas available. And this is the 18 year old here on my cask. And it's as well as a 12 year old, a blended whiskey it means it's a mixture from column still unmalted grain whiskey and single malt whiskey or malt whiskey from a malt whiskey or from several malt whiskey distilleries. And one of those malt whiskey distilleries is the Strathyla distillery from the Highlands. And this very picturesque, wonderful distillery with those small stills and this small buildings and the water wheel in front. Well, wonderful to visit. It's a self-guided tour in Huntley. And uh, this is called the home of the Chivas because one of the lead malls of the Chivas Regal comes from this Strathyla distillery. And have a look uh, at whiskey.com. There is a single malt whiskey from Strathyla as well available. So the real spice from this whiskey is available. There are several more bottles from Chivas on the market. Well, quite high price. The Royal Salute, 25 years old, which I like very, very much. And it's an artisanal work which is done here because you'd have ingredients and mix them together. That's a difference uh, to the malt whiskey industry where you select single casks and bottle them from a distillery to a single malt. So one is a selection process and this is a creation process. This is the main difference. And I was allowed to visit the Chivas bottling plant in Paisley, uh, close to Glasgow where they bottled the 12 year old and they had huge vats there with 140,000 liters content for the mixture of the blended whiskey. And they bottled one bottle a second on that uh, lane and they had several of those lanes. So the output of the Chivas Regal 12 year old is massive, but there are some special casks uh, put aside to produce this 18 year old single malt whiskey, which is price, I think, double of the price of the 12 year old. Not that much. Yeah. So this is a wonderful, massive, bulgy bottle. I like it very much. And uh, here's the opener. An excellent cork. Very good quality. <laughs> There's no tail. Um, the Chivas and Glenlivet group once was in the possession of Seagrams. Seagrams had been the biggest alcoholic uh, production company in the world uh, owned by the Bronfman family and they had a uh, an extern chip uh, in the company uh, called Alexander Ricard and I met him uh, once in Ireland in 2013 and uh, there he did an internship uh, uh, yeah and uh, came back then uh, to France. Ricard is this famous uh, French uh, family which own these anise uh, liquor, uh, Ricard and Pernod. And uh, then uh, the uh, Pernod Ricard company bought parts of the Seagrams, uh, of the Seagrams company. And uh, today, the former uh, internship, um, Alexander Ricard 
now is a CEO of Pernod Ricard and the Chivas and Glenn Livert Group. So from the internship to <laughs> the head of the company, this might be the way, yeah. So always be good <laughs> to those people coming for a short time into your company. Might be your future boss. This is full, fruity, aromatic, massive, wonderful bouquet. Caramel in it, maltiness, dark sherry notes, a lot of sherry in it. Yeah, so this is a big, full intensity. It's just 40%, so this is a massive amount of aromas. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Sweet, juicy, chocolate, then upcoming spiciness and a hint of grain. So if we would have to discuss how much grain is in it, I would say 20% maximum. This is, most of it is malt whiskey. A little bit of oak on the tongue. And I remember I had that seven years ago or something, and there I didn't like uh, the bitterness uh, of the oak. In this bottle, nowadays, the oakiness is much more friendly to your tongue. So. In former times might be there had been European oak and this today is American white oak, sherry cast, might be light floral note on in the start. The aftertaste long, medium to long, wonderful caramel on your tongue, sweetness in it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very well done. This is really a premium to the 12 year old. This is really, really excellent. And if you like the 12 year old, you should have a bottle of this one as well for Sundays. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned. There's more to come.